Shalom and greetings, my friends. Welcome again to the faith I live by. Today's scripture reading is taken from Genesis chapter 2, verses 2 and 3. It reads, And on the seventh day, God ended His work which He had done, and He rested on the seventh day from all His work which He had done. Then God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because in it He rested from all his work which God has created and made. My friends, the great Jehovah had laid the foundations of the earth. He had dressed the whole world in the garb of beauty and had filled it with things useful to men. He had created all the wonders of the land and of the sea. In six days, the great work of creation had been accomplished. And God rested on the seventh day from all His work which He had made. God looked with satisfaction upon the work of His hands. All was perfect, worthy of its divine order, and He rested, not as one weary, but as well pleased with the fruits of His wisdom and goodness and the manifestations of His glory. After resting upon the seventh day, God sanctified it or set it apart as a day of rest for man, following the example of the Creator. Man was to rest upon this sacred day, that as he should look upon the heavens and the earth, he might reflect upon God's great work of creation. And that as he should behold the evidences of God's wisdom and goodness, his heart might be filled with love and reverence for his maker. God saw that a Sabbath was essential for man, even in paradise. He needed to lay aside his own interests and pursuits for one day of the seven, that he might more fully contemplate the works of God and meditate upon His power and His goodness. He needed a Sabbath to remind him more vividly of God and to awaken gratitude because all that he enjoyed and he possessed came from the beneficent hand of the Creator. When the foundations of the earth were laid, then was laid the foundation of the Sabbath. Well, May this institution demand our reverence. It was ordained by no human authority and rests upon no human traditions. It was established by the Ancient of Days and commanded by His eternal Word. Friends, I am inviting you to accept the Word of God and choose to walk with Him. For this is the faith I live by. Mm -hmm.